outside of gaming gladiators, and I think that's a very good uh, result. Ooh, big knockup though, Nicolette with massive damage. Zane will take down Shark, best player. Appraiser's rat. Little bit. Yeah, look at the turtle. 50% HP. Oh. Big, I'm offended from Shark, best player. Finds Nicolette, Cold World. Need to find a, an answer. Mobile Zane very low. Shark and Chicken not trying to allow him to get away. Chaining him with CC. Zane still wants this turtle in position for a possible retribution. But best player will be able to claim the second turtle of the game. If carry is a oh topside. Yeah, Zia caught with the gank from Cold World. Basic able to get the kill with the numbers. But on the bot side, a possible trade. Mobile Zane will fall. Hoon will be the one to take him down. Milo left by himself to fend off against three members of Gaming Gladiators and hitting uh, pretty hard right there. Very low. Early game that Zia should not have, but the side of BTK, they're not kind of just falling left and right. The Lord going down the retribution onto the hands of Gaming Gladiators. Yeah, I mean, look at Mobazane. He's not able to find a window of opportunity to get into the Lord Pit. Completely, you know, untouched in this series. And oh, oh! I'm offended. Four men set. Shark on fire with the Ruby. Yeah, I'm offended. Catching basic, catching chicken, catching Zane. Maybe if we get some more, Cold World is going to take down chicken. That is going to be a two for three trade. Nicolette has been cracked open for the Bloodthirsty Kings. Gaming Gladiators knocking for a possible victory. BTK with the response. So Milo, very low. Zia, Speedy Light Wheels will find him. One member down for the Bloodthirsty Kings. And the inhibitor will fall in the mid lane. BTK on the back and trying to hold him off. Another member falls. Zia with the double kill finds Moba Zane. Triple knockoff from the Wild Charge from Cold World. Fight Chicken will find Nicolette Basic. Very low. Zia. Rushing in, but Hoon will be able to get the kill. Last second, Cold World by himself. A quick finish for the side of Gaming Gladiators. Is Cold World by himself not enough to contest? The Gaming Gladiators, they're going to go in for the kill. Full brutality right now for the first match of the day as GG will shut down BTK in game number one. 50 50 retro between him and uh, best player at that point. Honestly, working more in Zane's favor. It's Chicken. We'll get first blood, though. It's going to find Milo in the 1v1 trade on the bot side. Cold World up for it. On the bot side, though, the Siege 4. The tier 1 turret on the way from the side of BTK. But now, a little bit of resistance. His gaming gladiator is going to push through with the numbers. Heavy spin from Moba Zane trying to push them back. Boom! Will find basic. Moba Zane not able to get back. Oh, wait a second! The guiding win! You had the saving grace coming out from Cold World, able to get Moba Zane out of his situation. I thought Basic was going to get alive, but no, Chicken says no. <laughs> Zane, get back into the base. He's done so well in a lot of these engagement, and take a look at this here. Yeah, Cold World should be able to get out of there. He does have the circling eagle. He's being like whales. Oh, close call. Moba Zane, he's pushing him back into Cold World, though. He needs to be careful. Best player. May try and close the distance. Stun decided to tier two turret. Cold World will be able to get back. Got a gaming gliders and initiation from Cold World Ooh. here. Moba Zane trying to wrap around, trying to get a pin. Connects on to Shark, but he's able to get out of there last minute. Basic. Before BTK can shut him down. Basic though, torn apart. Memories is going to find best player. Mission accomplished. No retribution for GG. Side of BTK could look to siege, but side of gaming gliders should be able to protect that. No problem. Ooh, Zane taking a lot of damage, but the Mathilda play from Cold World and the Guiding win gets him out of the tier 2 turret and a kill on the way is basic. Torn apart memory on to Chicken. Brighter than ever. Can they keep up this momentum as they are seeing a little bit of pushback from the side of Gaming Gladiators. Circling Eagle connecting. Last Sanity from Milo on the best player. Basic will be able to get the kill yet again. Wow. Now 3, 1, and 0. They want to... They want Chicken to be able to use his ultimates beforehand, but it looks like they're looking to go in. The Lord is marching down. It's so low here. No, I don't think they'll be able to close the distance. Moba Zane will be able to get the retribution in time. The Lord has gone into the hands of the Bloodthirsty Kings. Chicken may fall, pinned on the wall, and Basic finds his fourth kill of the game. He's been looking for. Yeah, Milo able to get that Faraga armor to harass. The side oh, of Milo. game gladiators. Astro Echo is going to connect from Nicolette. Luminous Lord now in play. Best player. Very low. Torn apart. Memories. Basic. Late game. And especially getting those last hit pickoffs. And, you know, this time around, BTK looking for another engagement. Zia way far outside of the protection from his team. Getting bursted down even though he has the damage. Not able to find a kill. And now an opportunity for BTK to even out the series. Takes the inhibitor for the top side. Down. So the side of BDK, they have to look to see if they can get initiation onto the mid side. And look at Milo going in on Hoon to engage onto the Lord. And they're looking like they're getting the team fight that they're looking for. 
Ooh, last sanity goes out. Torn apart members as well. Milo will find Shark. They are down one member. But without the torn apart memories, it may be a counterplay from the side of game gladiators. Even Zane using the heavy spin, catching best player, but he's able to wrap around. Maybe a misplay from the side of BTK if they're not careful. Chicken immortality has been frocked inside of the full team of BTK. Use the winner, Trunchy and Nicolette with the snipe to shut him down. Forced to go back to the base, still getting burned over there with the damage. And it looks like Bloodthirsty Kings, they don't want the Lord. They'll, they want the game ender. They want to take this to a game number three. And they may be able to do that just yet. Nicolette will go ahead and shut down best player Hoon and Zia by themselves. It's the full team of the Bloodthirsty Kings. Can they hold them off? Hoon back to the base for some region. Zia hit with the knockup, but down goes the base. Crystal and BTK is taking us to a game number three against Game and Gladiators. To watch for, and especially since we're going on to a game three, a very classic game. And Zia oh. here oh. looking to get burst oh. to down quite well here in the mid game. Yeah, and speaking of scaling, Black Dragon from Milo Ooh. trying to seize the opportunity. Double Petrify Basic will find Zia, another realm keeping BTK alive. Moba Zane will shut down Hoon, two for none trade. Basic looking to engage. No and Fury does get proc by Shark, not going to knock up any members of BTK. Milo will take down Fried Chicken. Now the seize of opportunity. Basic will claim the tier one turret. BTK getting what they came for, but Mopa Zane needing to get out of there. Hit with a little bit of CC, but oh save. God. Four versus five, five versus five formation. And the circling wind comes through. Yeah, Mathilda Airlines for the knockup. Hoon very low. Milo smells the low HP. A shark in the water. Out for blood. The terrifying quadruple knockup with the furious dive of the Black Dragon. And Milo, Shaw Essence activated, sustains himself, gets out alive. Best player. Very low. Use the Praises Wrath onto the side of BTK. Tries to get away. Back to safety. The chase, though. Oh. Furious Soul Grip from Milo. Able to take him down. Is lacking a little bit in this department, but Circling Wind's coming through. Yeah, Mathilda Airlines in effect. Heavy Spin is going to go out from Hoon using the IMU against BTK, but is it enough to stop them? Moba Zane on the chase, but now the counterplay from Gaming Gladiators. Minoan Fury for the quadruple knockup. Nether Realm. Has been knocked out over there from Nicolette to keep them alive. Cold World will find Shark. Down goes the Roman for GG. And now the counter back from the Bloodthirsty King's Chicken. Very low torn apart memories from Zia. Finds one, takes down Cold World. Half of today's match, BTK has been able to find the advantages they're looking for. Speaking of advantage, Lord Very Low, Red Black G? Dragon from Lilo circling around. Is going to drop down for the Petrify Zane. We'll be able to claim the Lord for the Bloodthirsty Kings. Maybe able to get some bodies to praise the wrath from Best Player. Is going to connect on to Milo, knocking him airborne, procking the immortality. Cold World. Very low himself. Nicolette will find fried chicken. Hoon is going to find Milo to respond. A one-for-one one trade so far. Zane with a lot of CC. Trapped inside of the full team of Game Gladiators. We'll pull no back way. Safety from Cold World with the guiding win. Cold World taking all the hits, though. Torn apart memories from Zia to seal his fate. Three members down as Zia finds Moba Zane. 2,000, but everybody getting to full build. You are looking at basic. Doing some damage. Minoan Fury for the knockup on a Nicolette. The silence in effect for Milo. Triple knockup on a BTK, but Basic will find Shark. Not going to stop them on the push. BTK, Milo rotating around. Basic finds a double speed light wheels. He's going to find best player. BTK looking to claim some real estate. Milo very low, though. Chicken will get the kill. Able to get back to safety. Is, is going to be the best option here, but the Black Dragon coming through here. Ooh, he goes in for the Nether Realm, though. Look at Hoon. He picked up the ultimate from Nicolette, but it, does he have enough time to close the distance? They have to go in. Nether Realm activated. Who will get this Lord Manoa feared for the quad knock up, up against BTK? Lord will be claimed best player with the Retribution. Zia finds Zane. Basic finds best player. Zia takes down Milo for the double kill. The siege is not done, though. Cold World. Basic trying to get back to safety alongside Nicolette. It's about 25% oh, HP. No. Okay, it is very low. You're going to see the knock-up, though. The airborne fly from Milo. Terrified. Immortality being proc. Lord, not even at the retribution mark yet. Milo will fall. Zia! Exactly what BTK needs to, in order to take the wins in these fights. Yeah, and Hoon used the Nether Realm. And Owen Fury for the knock-up on the BTK. They're going in for it. Basic finds best player. This is big. The Bloodthirsty Kings. A heavy spin on the wall. Catching Shark. Circling Eagle. Cold World. Mathilda Airlines connecting. Shark immortality has been proc. But Chicken joining the party both sides down one member but best player and of course the black dragon form along with the petrify has been kind of the death of the side of gg and btk trying to go in for the oh. game ender milo starting it early drops down with the black dragon petrify forcing out the nether realm over there from whom with the imu a lot of mobility on the board and utility being wasted boba zane heavy spin catches best player Basic will go ahead and shut him down. They go in for the game ender. Minions on the top. Minions on the bottom. Minions in the mid. And the circling eagle 
for the connection. Base crystal, 50%. Immortality being proctored. Moba Zane, they're not done though. Milo, resting with the uh, Fury Stive. Does oh connect my. the shot. Essence, but minions fall. Zia finds Milo, but down goes a base crystal. BTK. Able to claim the series, the reverse sweep. We have an interview with the greatest of all time, Goat Milo. <laughs> 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 Welcome back, Milo. Me. No, I do not deserve yes, that they title. Can hear you now. I'm sorry to all the BTK fans out there. I'll play better next week. Play horrible today. Why? Why? Why are you sorry? You did a great performance for, especially the second game. I noticed your your <laughs> export was crazy. You're putting on the jersey now, so Milo, tell us why. Why are you sorry, guys? Why are you apologizing? I've been trash talking a lot, and I kind of fed today. I'm sorry. My team won four v five. What can I say? I was useless today. Wow. I don't know how to feel about that yeah, comment. Okay. Is that humble or is that showing no, up? No, I played. <laughs> Liz, did you not watch the game? I was feeding at the time. My bad to all the fans out there. We'll do better next week. Well, I was so congratulations to BTK. Congratulations to your team. And some questions that obviously a lot of fans want to know. So, first off, facing against uh, gaming gladiators, facing the team that you guys, that you stayed with, you lived with through Indonesia, through a whole pretty much a whole year how does it feel being dropped from that team and how does it feel now to beat them what do you mean i dropped them i mean it's pretty normal i don't re i'm not really holding any grudges i have no enemies i'm just playing beating at the time hashtag that's normal <laughs> it's pretty Mm hmm. Well, so that, um, I heard from the production that before the sh the game even started, camera there was a camera war going on um, between the two teams. Um, what happened there? Is there anything yeah. interesting that you want to share? Okay. <laughs> Hoon is a criminal, guys. Hoon is a criminal. He takes he takes like ten pictures of me every night when I was sleeping next to him. That guy's a criminal. <laughs> Can't and now and now those secrets are shared. <laughs> Yeah, they were just showing the pictures. Like. Mm -hmm. And now, with this strong victory in Week 2, compared to that defeat in, in the first week, what do you think that changed in this past week? It was definitely mindset and preparing a lot more. Like We played for two days this weekend. That's two more days than last weekend. Where we went up against A7-7. Mm -hmm. Zero scrims, zero motivation, zero passion. That week, it was a lot of ego. Mm -hmm. um, it was a lot of trash talking, looking down on the enemy team, not really caring. <laughs> and we, we got stung, you know? That's, you that's a really it. nice L to have early on. It's I'm, I was so happy that my team stopped trash talking right away when we lost. <laughs> yeah, that, was a, that was a good loss. That was a good loss. And now, and now it brought you guys so far. And last but not least, with this new roster, how do you like this new roster? How do you like Nicolette in mid lane, and as, as well as Cold World adding to that roam position, really bring Zane into his comfort zone? Hmm. Well, for the most part, aside from this week, Zane was not in his comfort zone. I think there was a lot of synergy mm -hmm. problems that we fixed through a lot of heart to heart talks this past week. Uh, Zane mentioned that he was feeling really uncomfortable playing with Apple and Chris because Apple and Chris did not even communicate with them. So we solved that this week. Mm -hmm. We spent a lot more time together. We hung out, watched MPL, and I guess it paid, out. It paid off. Even when I fed, they won. Mm -hmm. so. I was like, he's kidding. Well, I'm sure you did something right there. So with, like you said, communication is key and t team sy synergy, it seems, is what you guys needed and you guys got it, so congratulations on that victory. I hope we have you back at this desk. I really love talking to Milo. He's always um, great to have on the show. So the, guys, the, the next time you get me here, I'm maybe here. trust me. Zero debts. <laughs> the next time you see me here, zero debts. Trust me. I'm not dying next week. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm not dying next think, week, guys. Think... No, uh, no more debts. Well, we're going to hold you accountable. We're going to hold you to that. He's not dying this week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, thank you, Milo. Have a great rest of the night.